Also, point number five. You do not run the test by having the generator attached to your electrolysis system. You have your generator attached to a 100 watt light bulb and then you run your electrolysis system off of city grid power. That is how to test properly your fucking claim. You know, the burden of proof rests upon the person making the claim, but it is also in the person making the claim best interest to also try to disprove his or her own claims. That's what scientists do. That is what engineers do when they have a um, hypothesis that is outside the paradigm of of standard engineering and technology and scientific discovery. If their hypothesis is not currently in the existing paradigm, not only do they have to produce evidence to support their hypothesis, they need to disprove their own hypothesis. And I don't understand how these oxyhydrogen HHO cult nutcases out there don't understand such a basic, fundamental concept as trying to look at all the flaws in their own claims. And it's certainly not my burden to prove or disprove my claims because I'm not making any. They are. If you modify your MAP or mass sensor to lean out the fuel to air mixture, you will get a slight increase in your miles per gallon. The oxyhydrogen bubbler under your hood does absolutely nothing positive and it will decrease your miles per gallon. These devices do not improve your horsepower, or I should say your vehicle's horsepower, unless you're a vehicle. These devices do not improve, quote, performance, unquote. They do not make your engine run, quote, better, unquote.
These devices produce so little oxyhydrogen, even at 5 liters per minute, that the engine ignores them completely. It is the devices produce such an insignificant amount of gases that the engine doesn't even see it. It's completely ignored.